Welcome back and joining us on the show now is Mr. Bimal Kothari. He is chairman at India Pulses and Grain Merchant Association. Mr. Kothari, thank you for joining us. And yesterday was an important meeting of the Pulses stakeholders with the government officials there. And we do understand that it was a stricter tone used in the meeting where there was conversation about not holding stock limits as well and perhaps capping the maximum import pricing also. How would you look at the meeting? What are the concerns that the Pulses as an industry faces right now? Uh, thank you, Manisha Ji, for inviting me. Uh, um, uh, let me tell you the scenario of uh, uh, tour hole, what is happening with the tour. You see, mm -hmm. um, if you look at the numbers, if you look at the production, definitely our production is down and will be down by almost 1.5 million tons. So that mm -hmm. remains a fact, whatever the situation may be, but that remains a fact. So uh, so to meet that gap, we need to import uh, peas and peas from the countries like Myanmar and East Africa, which we have been regularly doing. And the mm -hmm. government has extended the import policy till uh, free import policy till uh, 31st March 2025 uh, without any mm -hmm. uh, without any duty. So right. the government has relaxed. Uh, the government has relaxed that uh, import completely. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, but the concern is that we are not getting enough to us uh, from mm -hmm. either from the local market or even from the uh, from the overseas. And mm -hmm. uh, local market, the government was trying. The government has also announced a measure to buy uh, tour at uh, market price, but they still mm. could not buy a good quantity. A very small quantity has been procured by government in last, uh, uh, last uh, since they have made this announcement. So mm. uh, definitely there is a, a issue with the arrivals of the cargo. The farmers are also, now I think they are waiting for the price, prices to go up because they also, when they know that the government is going to buy at the higher price, so, mm -hmm. or at the market price, so they want to uh, sell at a higher price. So that could be one reason the prices are uh, going a little bit. I tell you, the price has gone up by almost eight to ten rupees a kilo uh, since mm -hmm. the uh, the crop uh, crop has started. So it's not okay. a very looking at the scenario. It's not a very significant increase. Definitely, the government concern. I we appreciate that government mm -hmm. doesn't want the price to go beyond certain levels. Uh, right. But it has not it has not gone to a, a, such a significant or a warning alarming level. That we need okay. to uh, get worried. But, uh, so, what are the prices uh, right now? Hmm. I think for uh, for the DC tour is it about 104, 100, 100, 100, between 100 to 105. So okay. it's not uh, it's not so high that uh, it's an alarming situation. This was expected. I mean, this is nothing new. Okay. And hmm. we are going to look at the we are going to see the shift uh, in the demand also because the prices are high for the tour, and this was expected. But the sure. government concerns, uh, which which we also endorse that. Uh, some of the some of the uh, traders they are uh, trying to speculate. They are trying to hold the cargo at the uh, at the at the uh, at the origin. So that mm. should, that is really a concern. That also we will appeal to through you uh, all mm. our uh, all our uh, business community not not to take the advantage of this situation. That we should support the government. We should we should uh, definitely you are you are supposed to make money, but you are supposed to make profit. But it should be reasonable a reasonable amount. Don't play with the situation, and uh, and and let us try to uh, let us try to uh, cool down the situation. Let us try to see ensure that the supply goes on, and um, and 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 the prices are the prices remain stable. So uh, mm -hmm. that, that is a concern of the government, and we endorse this concern, and we are sure. with the government, uh, and we want to work uh, in this direction with the government only. Absolutely, so we, Mr. Kothari. Uh, so thousand dollars, thousand dollars of an import cap that is going around in the conversations. How, what do you think about those price? Uh, you see, that has been proposed yesterday. I, I don't think that is, that was just a point of discussion. That can we do okay. the capping? It has been done in past earlier in some of the commodities I've seen, but. I, I, I hope that it doesn't. Uh, government can do that. Uh, definitely, government has. Uh, after all, the government has to look into the interests of the consumer also. So uh, mm -hmm. they can do that. But I, I hope that it doesn't prove to be counterproductive, because you mm -hmm. see, we 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 need uh, we need the uh, pulses uh, tour to be imported from Myanmar and East Africa. So we don't mm -hmm. want the counterproductive. But uh, uh, I mean, this kind of steps. If if the situation, I don't think the government should do at present level. If the situation going beyond certain level, I think then the government should uh, uh, government should uh, look into the uh, the entire scenario and may impose certain conditions uh, okay. to cool down the prices. 
Fair point that. So clearly at this point in time, warning from the government and various steps that have been lined that can be taken in case the prices do not come under control. Mr. Kotari, thank you so much for joining us and putting all of that in perspective. But with that, it's a wrap on Halftime Report. Business Lunch will take all the action forward.